Hello, people of YouTube. Welcome. This is Triska Daka here with another Gungeon Run. If you're wondering about why I'm dressed the way I am, I'm kind of in between work right now. I am actually, like, on break, instead of my lunch break, trying to film a recording in order to make sure that I have a video out tonight. So, we're going to move quickly, move fast, and move efficiently. I'm going to work as hard as I can to get as fast as I can, as low as I can. So hopefully with the little bit of added stress that I'm going to have here, it'll actually help my gameplay. Hopefully. I'm kind of hoping that with added pressure, I move a bit quicker than I normally would. And while I'm trying to move faster, I'm also trying to make sure that this doesn't include messing up more just because I'm moving faster. Mm, I'm not even going to want that. Just get rid of it. Rid of it, thank you. With the brown chest, I'm not coming back for it. Like I said, I'm pretty much doing this almost speedrun style, so we're moving as fast as we can regardless. Whatever I get, I get. If I can get something a bit better, that would be nice of course, but that may not be the case. And hopefully I don't pay for this going further down the run of course. Now, when you're doing something like this, you're definitely giving up a lot of early bonuses to do that. When I'm sacrificing these quick movements, trying to go from room to room as fast as possible, I'm losing out on items that I could be getting, I'm losing out on passives that I could be getting, I'm making stupid mistakes like picking up a key, but hopefully that won't matter too much actually. Rooms like this are going to be annoying because there's so many of them. Between that. There we go. That worked out nicely. And one nice. Kind of just circle around him as fast as we can, take him out, and continue on. So that's a locked door, which means our shopkeeper is down through this way. We need to head south, circle around, and come back to him. So luckily I am kind of to the point now where I'm able to get through this without taking a lot of damage and moving fairly fast in the beginning. I mean, since I haven't really done any of the clear stuff, all I really have to do is get down to the high dragon, which isn't that far actually. Getting heart drops, avoiding damage, always nice. I will pick up the AK if I get enough money. I would like to have that. It's a fairly good gun. I mean, pretty standardly, just end games across the board. I was watching another YouTuber who does play this by the name of Northern Lion, and he was talking about how he gets comments from people playing Gungeon stating they can't get past the third floor. Uh, the third floor. Which is rather interesting, actually. I mean, even myself just playing, I mean, this is episode 9, episode 10, something like that. But I fairly regularly get down to the third floor. So we're just gonna say, forget the chest, continue on without that. But even myself, I normally fairly regularly get down to the third floor and end up dying around then, like fourth floor, actually. nothing else so let's go so unfortunately we won't be able to get the we won't be able to get the AK-47 which is a bit of a nuisance but it does happen almost took very stupid damage yeah kind of lock myself in a corner, which is unfortunate. We will end up paying for that. Could have ended up taking damage because of that stupid table, but we did not. Yeah. 
I was doing as best as I can to avoid it, but he's really going for the Gatling. He normally does the missile attack a lot more frequently with me, which is unfortunate. Yeah, saw that one coming too. So, obviously we will not die, of course, against this guy. But we definitely aren't getting the flawless either, which is unfortunate. Flawlesses, of course, make a very big deal in the beginning game. You know, when you're building up that XP early, it ends up really paying off for you later in the game. We got 60 credits, which is not enough, right? Unfortunately, there is not a junk salesman, so I can't sell the junk and try to get enough. So we will just head out and continue down. I suppose I'll use the Uzi for a boss killer. If you're wondering why there's something in the background, I am cooking food at the moment. Hamburger steaks. What's for the lunch? What's for lunch? So you don't want to get stuck in these dodge loops that I'm doing. They're very negative and can end up causing you a lot more damage than you would normally take. But it did save us from getting killed. And after this floor, we really do need a better gun because, well, the first floor gun doesn't really cut it. Break it, win a prize. Sink it there. Got all good. There. I need to go higher. It's a little annoying to do this on the controller. Actually, can I? No. So right around here. Oh, come on. Really? That was terrible. We get a red heart. Screw you, game. So that was essentially a waste of cash. Quite a bit, actually. It was more than I really wanted to, especially considering the old Winchester is here. That would have been useful. Okay. I'm getting a lot of heart drops, which I mean, it's not a negative, but it's just a little odd. We're getting a lot more than I'm used to. I mean, normally you would expect that at like lower le you wish for that at lower levels, but you never get it. And you're gone. You're gone. <sighs> Stupid lead bullets. At least we have the hearts. There we go. Oh, come on, really? There we go. Can't go that way anyway, so down this way. So even though I am on a time crunch, I am going to make it as far as I can, like, regardless. Good. That is kind of one of the reasons why I ended up picking the Marine, just because I am functionally skilled enough with him that me moving fast doesn't really matter enough. Like, I can continue moving fast and functioning well. as you can see. <laughs> and you will, you'll normally get into your own character style, like who you like best, who you can play with, who isn't really a hindrance to you. Cool, we got a nice boss killer now. So 
So, the blaster is actually a very sufficient gun. It'll do quite a bit of damage. And pretty much rip through most early bosses at least. No? Still more? Just like, the fact of having a better aim is actually very greatly appreciated with the Uzi. I mean, you standardly think of things like Uzis, and you think of wild shooting weapons. Whereas, it's keeping a rather tight cluster on the shots. Which is very nice. And perfect, we get an ammo drop here. Circle down. You can just F right off. Kind of sink back a little. Okay. I thought it would be the Iron Maiden in the center, but luckily it was just snipers. I I think there may be one more wave. Let's see. Nope, no more. And this should be our other chest, too. Nope. Okay. Very interesting layout. So, luckily, you can kind of anticipate when the shot's going to come through, which is very useful. that would bin the uh, other chest because I would definitely like a passive or an active. Here's our boss so we'll go into our proton pack. Oh come on! That was such terrible damage. So just kind of move it in between his shots a little bit. I'm taking it nice and easy, so because as you saw, when you do dodge roll, it really takes away from your DPS, which is vastly unfortunate. And he should be dead like any second now. There we go. The Disintegrator Ray which is kind of an upgraded version of what we have. We got our armor back. We will port back here, grab our heart, look for our other chest very quickly. Come on, move quickly. Kind of wish I could get a speed upgrade. It would be greatly appreciated. Granted, that was a bit crap as far as the shot, but it wasn't necessarily bad play, it's just we didn't get the flawless. Which is unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. <sighs> that was. No, it wasn't the end of the world, but it was very annoying. We will pick up ammo for the proton pack and continue onwards. And not a mimic. Table tech rocket? Oh, blank. And I will pick up the wax wings. And I'll, I'll pick up the wax wings, definitely. Hey, we got one, we might as well go two. And we'll just get out of here from there. I mean, two levels of curse. Probably could be something very useful behind that door. I don't really foresee it that much, though. So I will be switching over to the Uzi and using that kind of as a standard gun now. Let's see. I've been recording for about 15 minutes, which isn't that bad. So 
I'm trying to just tear through enemies as fast as I can. The Waxwings is going to help a lot because I end up taking a lot of stupid damage. Like, I end up taking a lot of environmental damage, which is vastly unfortunate. You know, it's not something you really want to do. No. I do not like this guy. Yeah, I never like the ones with the shades. They're extremely, extremely annoying. Ah, couldn't dodge both of them. Is this, this is Proton Pack. Because the longer this guy is on the screen, the worse. As you can see, I'm already dealing with the two freaking little guys who are annoying as anything. And I don't need that many bullets put on screen. So just kind of feed into him. Take out this one. I would love to get something like Rolling Reload. It's a very nice item. Snowballer and Unfinished Gun. Unfinished Gun is a very nice one. I do like it a lot, actually. When I first saw it, I didn't like... Whoa. Whoa. This is definitely Disintegrator territory. I do not want this guy on the floor long. He is not someone you want to deal with jammed. So, for those of you who don't know, like, I know I don't really talk about what jamming actually does. What it does is it gives those opponents more health, and it also makes it so that any damage that you receive will be a full heart instead of half heart of damage. One of the reasons why I did state, he is not someone you want to deal with jammed. Come on, just reload. Come on, and one more. I also really don't like these guys as well. They're quite annoying. I've ended up taking a lot of stupid damage from them. are immune to the fire trails, which is quite nice. I mean, as you can see, I can't catch fire damage from Motals. We'll go into the Disintegrator, and we'll just go right into the battle. Dreadnought, which is very nice. I normally do fairly well against him. Especially considering, you know, we do have three blanks. Come on. Just follow me. Thank you. And there's the flawless. Which is quite nice. We'll get our extra health back. Luckily I didn't talk about it, but we did get the bonus, like, heart from a curse, which isn't bad. I mean, i definitely trade a heart for a curse. And I'm actually just going to go with what we have. Like I said, not much time, so we're going at this hardcore. Just full-on rush. Whatever I get, I get. Whatever I don't, I don't. We have made it down to chamber four, which is normally as far as I get, too, which is hilarious. I know this floor, so I'm rushing this one because of what spawns here in a matter of seconds. There we go. 
Yeah, I did not want that guy staying alive very long. So I rushed that one. I was willing to take the armor damage just to keep Grim out of this fight. The Jolter is very nice in that it gives us some distance. Thank you. Oh, come on. Really? Okay, with the way I'm taking damage, we'll just go right into the Proton Pack. I'm just going to go into it. I'm going into, once again, my normal thing of if I'm going to die, I'm going to go out using my strongest weapons. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Really? I call it shenanigans on that flumper. So I'm definitely appreciating the Proton Pack, though we won't have it much longer. It has an extremely high range, actually. I've never noticed that. That's gone. And there we go. Well, all in all, like I said, it was kind of rushed, but we got down to what we normally do by am ammo man, sir. Well, thank you for watching, YouTube. Take care. This is Chess Guy. See you later.